security is a very dynamic space it is not static you cannot say i have secured this and that is it i don't have to worry about it later on it's more like master healthcare which you repeat on an annual basis you go and check your body whether you're healthy whether your vital parameters are fine on similar basis uh, security in a enterprise should be regularly checked watched monitored and necessary corrective action taken and that's where we call it as a vulnerability assessment vulnerability assessment is to find out how uh, strong the system is or what are the weaknesses in the system and how somebody can take advantage of these weaknesses and uh, exploit the system we have protective devices uh, defensive devices like firewalls antivirus anti spam and other uh, intruder detection system and intruder these systems have to be monitored continuously regularly to see they are operational they are doing their jobs as per design and in case something is not working an alert mechanism is issued now all of these systems generate logs logs are activities that take place through the system one may have to intelligently analyze that means correlate activities to find out whether somebody is taking advantage of a loophole in the system and be able to alert now to do to this kind of log analysis that is humanly not possible you can't have a security expert sitting and looking at the logs and saying this is what is happening so today you have sophisticated tools which do this online analysis and shortlist okay this looks like something is going wrong hey take a look so that kind of a shortlisting is done and the person takes over from there and says okay there is a breach and this is what you need to do there can be multiple types of uh, attacks one uh, if it's a financial institution i will uh, perhaps see how i can get uh, the identity i can use an identity theft attack i'll try and steal the identities of users use this identity and go and withdraw money or transfer money this happened recently even in india you need to be careful and have your antivirus updated regularly so ensure that you're not allowing some uh, unidentified software to be running on your system there are some tools like net forensic sark monitor and uh, these these tools oxide these tools help you do correlation of activities correlation of activities is basically looking at the logs of one security device looking at the logs of another security device and seeing whether there's a pattern whether a particular attack is coming from a specific ip and if it's coming from a specific ip ip address then you are able to find out okay this ip address belongs to this part of the world and then zeroing on further and finding out whether there's a, a pattern like that and see how you can set up your defenses it's like your uh, master health checkup when you do your master health checkup and somebody says hey buddy your cholesterol is high your uh, blood pressure is not normal we suggest you go on a diet and you follow a regular exercise pattern now that's an alert now on when you're having an online monitoring system this is the kind of alert you can get looks like there is a break in maybe then you immediately take uh, records and go and fix the firewall or fix the ideas or fix the necessary security tool that is in place generally defense in depth is a method of having multiple lines of defense it could be one firewall and then further another file or firewall all is typically you separate your various application zones into two kinds of zones maybe you have a demilitarized zone and you have a militarized zone and you ensure that uh, the access to the militarized zone comes only from specific computers or specific ip addresses so this can these kind of things can be achieved using uh, multiple firewalls but on the contrary if you look at viruses that's an very interesting area where defense in depth can be practiced now you have various kinds of virus manufacturers now the way viruses are trapped uh, involves um, a signature a signature is generated and basically it's a blacklisting model that many people follow you identify these are viruses one school of manufacturer could be following a method another school can be following a different method so you get better of both by having both of these kind of antivirus engines running on your system accountability is a, i believe accountability is the single most important thing on the online transactions uh, in the in the uh, physical world wherever we transact on paper we are the the relying party it could be the bank which ensures that your signatures are there and they are as per their records and any change or mutation you carry out on a piece of paper they ensure that you endorse it by another signature whereas this is not there in the online transactions in the online transactions you can transfer money from your account to another account by just giving a password 
the password does not really bind you to the transaction password is another bit of data that is where digital signatures play a very important role by using digital signatures you can hold the person responsible for the act that's what we call technically non repudiation or accountable in simple terms you hold the person who carry out the act accountable for what he did it also authenticates him and he cannot deny tomorrow that i didn't do that and this is of great significance in the financial transactions